Okay, so I'm going to do a video on um, using potassium permanganate to treat my fish, if my other discus will get out of the way. Uh, my blue, actually it's a green diamond, is behaving oddly. I, I don't know, he was been perfectly fine, eating well, but he did not come out to eat. Don't know what it might mean, but I'm not. I'm going to be proactive, and I'm going to remove him from the tank for one hour and put him in a solution of potassium permanganate. Give him a bath. Uh, see if there's any parasites, flukes, or anything else that might be bothering him, and um, see if we can clean him up a little bit. Um, I just don't want to take any chances. The second part of this is getting the. Uh, mixture right so I'm going to take this potassium per permanganate which you can see comes in a pretty small vial I'm going to put it into a cup just a little bit dilute it and then use the dropper to get the tank the separation tank isolation tank uh, to the right color that I want so in the cup now you can see I have a really dark purple mix it takes very little when I first got those vials of potassium permanganate, I thought, well, those are worthless, they're too small. No, they go a long, long way. So, and you don't want to overdo it. So, I've got this mixture. I'm going to take the eyedropper and I'm going to start coloring the, the uh, isolation. Okay, so I've done this a few times now. I think I'm better at it, have a pretty a better judge. So, I'm just taking the eyedropper and I start to color the water. And this, I do it this way because it's in a very controlled manner and I don't feel like I'm going to overdo it. So now I'm going to stir this up and really I want it to be a nice purplish color but I don't want to overdo it because I can really, I can really hurt the fish to do too much. So it's just about there pretty quick. I'm going to do one more. Stir it up, look at the color, nah, a little more. All right, that's good. So that's a nice kind of rosy purple color that I like. So now this is done and now I have to get the fish out of the tank. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I got them out pretty easily. Uh, if it were longer, I would go ahead and aerate it and um, add temperature control but I'm in a pretty warm room where I keep the warm pretty the room pretty warm for them he'll be okay and uh, I'm gonna keep him in there 45 minutes to an hour really give it a chance to work and then I'll reintroduce and the water I put in here I just took straight from the tank so there's no stress there and I'll watch for further signs of stress but he seems to be doing okay. okay. So he's back in. No worse for wear. Really, I just put him in two minutes ago and he looks fine. A couple things just to remember. I, I try not to do it too often. I don't treat the whole tank if I can help it because it, it'll destroy good bacteria too. And um, so I try to use it wisely, not to overuse it. And um, anyway, um, we'll give a progress report, but I think he'll be just fine.